It is 5.17 in the morning and we are headed up Henry's Fork Trailhead to do King's Peak in a day. It is approximately 27 miles with 5,100 feet, 5,100 feet of elevation gain and goes up to about 13.5, so high altitude as well. We have both done this already as a backpacking trip and spent some time looking in the meadows, watching sheep and looking at moose. Uh, so today we're gonna do a little bit faster and do it a totally different way and challenge ourselves. Uh, this is a type two fun type of adventure and hopefully it doesn't turn into type three. <laughs> we woke up at 4 a.m., took our time getting ready, had some coffee, uh, downed a, smooth, a, a smoothie that I made, uh, pre-made yesterday and hopefully it's a good time. The forecast is clear, but we are in the high winters, so we are fully expecting thunderstorms to roll in at noon. Just never know. Uh, we might not make it and that's okay, but we're gonna try. So for this trip, because it's such long distance, we are setting an alarm for every hour to force ourselves to eat something. And it has been an hour. We've gone about three and a quarter miles, and this is the first snack of the day. 300 calories, spring energy. Yeah, I don't know why I've been on a kick showing you guys what I'm eating, but I think it's fun and interesting. Um, yeah, these are, these are expensive. Sure, you can make something yourself, but can't lie, the convenience is really nice. So, and I wanted to try them out because I've heard great things. Oatmeal and fruit. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. We've been keeping our eye out for moose because we figured we'd see some. And right after we were talking about it, there's that guy. He's way out there, so you can barely see him, but... Ah! We also saw some deer earlier. So we've seen a little bit of wildlife so far. Whoa, Telly. <laughs> we just found a porcupine. Hey! Okay, alarm went off again. We're both having peanut butter and jelly bagels. They were supposed to be peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but Fifi decided to eat the bread right before we left, so I didn't get to make them out of bread. That's okay, this works though. We are about almost six and a half miles in, which means we are about halfway to Kings, which means we are a quarter of the way done for the day. Wow. So we just passed Dollar Lake area. There were so many people. There were a bunch of very large groups, way busier than when we were here in 2018 for like Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Everyone's excited to get out, including us. We are headed up towards Gunsight Pass and we can see Kings from here. We are a little over eight miles in so, we're making it and it's windy. <laughs> There's Gunsight Pass, short but steep. Well, you can't see him with yeah. this, but little pika, pika's everywhere. So we are actually almost to the top of Gunsight Pass. Uh, first bit of sun, feels good. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Keeping an eye on the sky and it's looking good. Yeah, Gunsight Pass is not bad. There's a trail that goes straight up uh, to the top of it. We opted for 
a little bit longer and taking the switchbacks. Glad we did because it barely feels like we're climbing up a pass. So making really good time. We we feel really good. Right? Yeah, I feel great. Yeah. I'm starting to get hungry though. An hour has been waiting. An hour has been too long to wait to eat. We're taking more calories, so eating again. Did a quick back stretch. So the normal trails down there. We were headed up here and gonna go over this. Saves us um, from dropping down really low and having to come back up. And we did this exact thing last time and we passed a ton of people, so definitely worth it. There she is, there's King's Peak. We have to drop down a basin on the side and then climb up, climb up towards Anderson Pass and then make our way along this ridge. Making our way across all these rocks. A, uh, a bunch of people saw us coming this way and so they backtracked and started following us. shortcut or else I would have dropped down in a basin and have to come up back up to this and then come up to this and then kind of just climb up along the back side of this mountain here. It's fucking snowing. <sighs> so we, um, I didn't film very much at the top because it started hailing on us and there were some dark clouds that just rolled in so fast because of the wind. Um, we took a little break, found some shelter from the wind. It was sunny for a second. Had some brie and crackers. It was so good. Um, good call, that was Carson's idea. Really good call. And we've kind of just been booking it down. Just, um, there are some clouds and we're in an exposed area. I mean, we are down from the peak, but yeah, exposed basin up here. And that is the highest peak in the state of Utah. But yeah, we are headed back down. Our legs are definitely tired. More than halfway done with our day. Ooh, look at those clouds back there. Yeah.
back down to Dollar Lake. We are taking a break on this log. We did a tiny bit of running and we filled our these, <laughs> our flasks with some electrolytes. And we haven't filtered water yet. We brought our water filter, plenty of water to filter from on the way back. And yeah, taking a short little break. I don't know if I mentioned, we are about 18 miles in and eight hours in. Yeah. Oh, there's a really pretty flower right there. How many calories is that? 200. Just ran into Christian with Christian Fall, Christian Fall, Christian Paul Photography. Um, he also posts some videos on YouTube as well. He's another local guy that goes out and likes to do stuff. But uh, yeah, we are at mile 19 and feeling pretty damn good, right? Yeah, just cruising. Yeah. Everyone's coming in for their weekend of backpacking and we are getting a lot of questions and comments because people are noticing our pack size. Um, but I just did quickly want to mention that slips, trips, and falls are the most common injury and accident. Uh, very easily could happen to us. So we did bring extra things in case we needed to spend the night. So. Uh, in my pack, I actually have a down jacket and a rain jacket that I haven't taken out. We have an emergency sleeping bag uh, that would fit the both of us. Yeah, we have a few other emergency things. Um, basically, in the case that something very simple happened, like one of us slipped. Um, last fall, I tripped and fell and um, partially dislocated my kneecap. So I'm like, you know, something like that happened. It would be miserable to get out. We wouldn't be able to get out that same day. Um, so yeah, we just wanted to be fully prepared. Twenty-four miles in, finish it strong. I was gonna die if she ate shit doing that. Made it back to the trailhead. We did King's Peak in a day. It was approximately twelve. Uh, bleh. <laughs> 25 and a half miles uh, because we took the shortcut. It was a great day. We're probably gonna pay for it tomorrow, but um, I couldn't be happier with how it ended. Whee! We did it. We did it. And we did a marathon too. Yeah. 26.2. Well, that's because we, <laughs> that's because we walked the road to cool down so we can turn it into a marathon. I also apparently recorded my fastest 5K. Cool. <laughs> Time to take the shoes off. This was literally the first time <laughs> that I've worn these shoes. This was their first outing and I decided to do 26 miles in them. Um, but they did great, they felt really good, no hot spots. My feet feel really good for doing what we did. And yeah, cushy. Okay. Goodies time. Ice picks. It's the first thing I'm gonna grab. Coconut water, electrolytes, and hydration. Watermelon. Ooh. <laughs> Juicy fruits. That's what my mom always said because her mom always said that. Uh oh, spaghetti. Oh. What happened? There is uh, not supposed to be liquid in here because I didn't put actual ice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the gel from one of the things. Yep. We got San Pellegrino. <laughs> Shit. 